Konnichiwa, Japanese Amo no Misa desu. Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about a common mistake that learners often make. And this will be a series. And each video is meant to be quite short, at least shorter than my usual videos. <laughs> but I hope you guys still will enjoy it. And before we start, can I ask you guys to follow me on Twitter and Instagram? Because I will do another giveaway. And I also try to teach something on Twitter and Instagram, so you'll get something out of them as well. Alright, so thank you, arigato. So the first common mistake that I see is how to use ga nai and ja nai, and also the verbs aru and iru. So if you have seen my absolute beginner's lesson, you probably have learned how to negate this. So for example, if you want to say this is a chair, we normally say kore wa isu desu, kore wa isu desu formally and informally you just get rid of desu at the end and say kore wa isu, this is a chair but if you want to negate that, so you want to say this is not a chair, this is a table you want to negate the verb desu so if you want to say this is not a chair you want to say kore wa isu ja nai desu ja nai desu so there are a few ways to negate this so ja nai desu this is pretty common so this is meant to be used in a semi-formal situation if you want to make it more formal you can go like ja arimasen so you could say kore wa isu ja arimasen then that also means this is not a chair but it sounds a bit more formal than ja nai desu so ja arimasen might be preferred when you are speaking to a stranger or someone older than you ja nai desu maybe this is more like when you're talking to a senpai so a senpai is older than you but if you have a close relationship you're kind of like friends but not really then you can use ja nai desu but ja arimasen might be preferred if you're talking to you know someone who's older and also not really friendly and then you can also do dewa arimasen dewa arimasen so you could say kore wa isu dewa arimasen but that sounds a lot more formal so you probably won't hear this much when people speak but you might see this in writing so you might, if you're reading something difficult, you might encounter this as well. If you're reading something really, really difficult though, you might say dewa nai, which is not meant to sound polite, but still formal, like official. So if you say dewa nai, it doesn't actually sound informal, but just sounds very official. If you're reading a report or if you're reading an essay, you might say that. But anyway, Normally you say ja nai desu or ja arimasen when you're speaking formally and if you want to negate this sentence informally you can say kore wa isu ja nai so you just say ja nai without desu so if I want to say I'm not Australian I would say Australia jin ja nai informally and Australia jin ja nai desu formally and the mistake that I often see is people say ga nai instead of ja nai or the other way around when they want to actually say ga nai they end up saying ja nai so ga nai and ja nai may seem similar but they are completely different so if I say ringo ja nai then that means it's not an apple whilst if I say ringo ga nai then that means there isn't an apple or I don't we don't have an apple so this ga particle plus nai is actually from the verb blah blah ga aru which could be translated like something exists or there is something so ringo ja nai, this is a negation of ringo or ringo desu. Whilst ringo ga nai, this is a negation of 
Lingo ga aru, which means there is an apple. So it's different when you want to say this is not blah 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 and there isn't blah blah blah. So this is a notebook, right? Kore wa noto desu. If I want to say this is not a book, I want to say kore wa hon ja nai. Kore wa hon ja nai. Formally, you do a desu at the end, so kore wa hon ja nai desu. But if I want to say I don't have a book or I don't have a notebook, I want to say blah blah ga nai instead of ja nai. So you say hon ga nai to mean I don't have a book or and you can add this after nai to kind of make it sound more formal. So you could say hon ga nai desu to mean I don't have a book and that's used when you're speaking semi-formally. Uh, but if you want to make it sound more formal, so more suitable when speaking to older people, you want to say something ga arimasen. Something ga arimasen. So you might think, wait, I kind of heard this word. Yeah, you did hear this word arimasen when we were talking about how to negate something formally. So there was a sentence, this is not a chair. Informally, I said, kore wa isu ja nai. But formally, I said, kore wa isu ja arimasen. Kore wa isu ja arimasen. So yeah, nai always becomes arimasen when we speak more formally. But depends on what you put in front of this nai or arimasen, the meaning changes completely. So if you want to say, oh, we don't have time, you want to say, jikan ga nai informally and jikan ga arimasen formally. If you end up saying jikan ja nai, then that means it's not time. Like it's not time for us. It's not time to do something. So the meaning changes. Like you could say, mada neru jikan ja nai. Mada neru jikan ja nai. Mada neru jikan ja arimasen. Then that means it's not time to sleep yet. Whilst if you say neru jikan ga nai or neru jikan ga arimasen, then that means I don't have time to sleep. So you see, big difference. And I also want to quickly explain the differences between the verbs aru and iru. I already made a lesson on this, so you want to check that out if you haven't. But basically, when you want to say there is an object, you normally use the verb aru. So if you want to say there is an apple, you say ringo ga aru. There is a seat, seki ga aru. There is a vending machine, jido hanbai ki ga aru. And if you want to make all these sentences formal, you only change the verb aru into arimasu. Jidou hanbaiki ga arimasu. Then that means there is a vending machine and this sounds more formal. But when you're talking about people, animals, friends, families, living things, you want to use the verb iru instead. So you can't say neko ga aru to mean there is a cat or I have a cat. It's wrong because cats are living things. So maybe it sounds like you're not treating them like how you should do. So you want to say neko ga iru when you say there is a cat. Neko ga iru. If you want to make this formal, you want to say neko ga imasu. Neko ga imasu. And not just animals, if you're talking about humans, you want to use iru as well. So if you want to say there is a woman, you want to say onna no hito ga iru. Onna no hito ga iru. By the way, don't say onna instead of onna no hito because onna sounds like the B word. So if you say onna ga iru, you sound like such a player. And it doesn't even sound like it's your girlfriend. It sounds like, you know, it's just a woman that you just sleep with. Yeah, be careful. You want to say, onna no hito ga iru. There is a woman. And some people think that words like friends or families are not technically living things, but they are. So you want to say, tomodachi ga iru. 
like I have a friend or there is a friend instead of tomodachi ga aru which sounds weird so even if it's a title of someone it doesn't even have to be the word person human as long as they are living things you want to use iru so like if your pet has passed away you still want to use iru but in the past tense so like I had a dog you want to say inu ga ita inu ga ita so don't use atta right because atta sounds like you're talking about a corpse so yeah if you're talking about just a body or like dead body you say shitai ga aru no shitai ga iru because you're treating it as a body corpse not a human being but the interesting thing is when there are zombies we'd say zombie ga iru no zombie ga aru so that's kind of hard right but because they kind of move like humans and maybe also because they used to be humans we still use iru and another interesting thing is when we talk about robots we normally say robotto ga aru right but when we talk about robots that look like humans like ai robots we tend to say iru like ah robotto ga iru which might make some people scared <laughs> so as long as that thing is acting like a human or you consider that that is a human you say iru and yeah when you want to negate iru you want to say inai o imasen so you also can't use ga nai you have to say ga inai so like i don't have a boyfriend you want to say kareshi ga inai kareshi ga inai or kareshi ga imasen formally all right so this was the first video of this series i hope you guys found this helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up and i would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to this channel and also consider supporting me on patreon all right thank you so much ja, matane, bye bye